What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. I am Chase on two wheels, and in front of us, we got a CBR 300R. This is the final bike in our low CC sport class uh, video. If you guys haven't seen the other bikes, we are doing the CBR 300R, the GSX 250R, the R3, the Ninja 400, and the RC390. We got a big comparison situation going on right now. This is the final one before our big shootout video where I claim a winner. But before we get this first ride started, you guys make sure to click down below if you are in the market for a brand new motorcycle or any bike that Mountain Motorsports has. I have hooked you guys up with first ride special pricing. So if you use the codes down below, you can get the best deal on a motorcycle at Mountain Motorsports. They've got locations in North Georgia. And without further ado, you know, you guys know you gotta hit the like button before we can get going, but Oh, appreciate it. All right, let's get this first ride started. Before we get out of here, I gotta talk to you guys about all the new ride apparel stuff we are launching next week. It includes this hoodie that I have on right now that is super freaking comfortable. It is this awesome hat, and we got some shirts and other stuff. So make sure to check out the link. We've been working on this stuff for a while. We are very excited to put it out. So we're only gonna be able to sell it for like a week. So if you don't get it during that period of time, it's not gonna be available after that. That's how we have to run as a small company. So uh, make sure to get it while you can. So there's all that stuff in the link in the description. Let's get on to the first round. All right, guys, let's, uh, pretty mild, pretty mild little motorcycle we got here. So guys, the uh, CBR, I, I look at the CBR as everything else Honda makes. It's gonna be, Decently reliable, actually pretty reliable. Honda's pretty high on the reliability list. But stats-wise, the CBR is going to sit right in the middle of everything. Weight, power, gas tank, height, everything. Honda's right in the middle. So it's not going to be class leading in anything, but it should be a good option. I'm going to put my cell phone in my pocket before I sit on it and bend it. Because I'm a big old boy. Just kidding. Trying not to be such a big old boy. All right. Honda. CBR 300. Legs are pretty decently bent. I'm 5'10". Inseam is whatever that number is. All right, we might have to stop and get gas. We'll see if that happens. Seat's a little hard. Levers are a little low. But that's not going to stop us today. <laughs> I literally gained a bar of fuel. That's hilarious. Similar to the RC390, the Honda is going to be the only other bike in the class with a single cylinder engine. Wow! <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm just coming off of doing the GSX 250R video, but this bike has got some pull and I love it. Holy crap! <laughs> Did not come in expecting that. I gotta tell you, man, after that GSX 250R, I was upset. Oh, where's the, where's the turn signal? Oh my god, it's way down there. Gotta reach underneath to grab that thing. Yeah, after coming off of the uh, GSX 250R, man, I was let down. Like, for the first time in a while, I did not enjoy riding a bike, and that is not a fun feeling to have. But we are back. So I don't like the placement of the blinker, but man, they are huge and easy to find once you find them. They're easy to get to, I'll put it that way. 
dude, yes on this thing. Are you kidding me? This feels almost like the Ninja did. The Ninja 400. What is this? <laughs> yes, Honda. <laughs> All right, let's talk about body position for a second. Um, I would say, you know, it's similar to a lot of the other bikes in the class. I'm pretty upright. My arms are pretty sagged down low. I don't feel crunched up though, so I feel like this bike is going to be a little better of an option for maybe like a taller rider. I feel kind of more relaxed fit right here. I'm not really a big fan of the way the rear seat kind of feels, but that's not too terrible. What is that thing? Because that looks sick. That's an Audi SUV and I bet it's expensive as hell. Hey, we got a red light so I can adjust these mirrors because they're, are they terrible? Yeah, they're, a, they're motorcycle mirrors. Oh, got it in neutral, totally fine, that's good. Man, I gotta say, I came in here with pretty low expectations out of the Honda, and it is exceeding them very much. Standing here, not going, this bike is super light. Again, I'm coming off of that GSX 250R, which was heavy. This one, even, I don't even know how much lighter this bike is than the GSX, but it feels way lighter. You know, just moving it around the showroom floor, moving the handlebars back and forth, it doesn't feel like encumbered by this um, large amount of weight. All right, let's go. Y'all are not going fast enough for me. Let's, hey, little Mazda RX-8, let's go. Come on. Yeah, I knew if a motorcycle followed you, you'd go faster. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Dude, I gotta, co I gotta give Honda a golf clap, like, this single cylinder engine is punchy. <laughs> engine braking is a little light. You know, you're definitely gonna be in a brake a decent amount situation. I, I can't get over how much I like the R3's uh, engine braking. That thing's phenomenal. <laughs> also, I've got this RX-8 behind me. I want you guys to realize I'm on a small CC bike and that guy <laughs> thinks I'm on a bigger CC bike. That's hilarious. Oh, this is good. This is how a bike should feel. I'm also, I gained another thing of gas. I don't know how that's happening, but you know what? I'm okay with it. See, this is the flickability that a bike needs in this class. I can lean this bike over and back and forth and it does not take a lot. That is what a small CC sport bike should have. I gotta say that horn is too damn big. I keep accidentally like, I, way too big. Thank you for being able to make it easy for me to find the horn Honda, but good lord. But yeah, the, the amount of how nimble these small bikes are is the key to you being able to have fun in them because they don't have large engines. So you got to get some positive out of that situation. And when you make them not nimble, it, uh, it really messes that whole equilibrium up. Honda has done a really good job though. I'm trying to get past the shock of how good this engine feels. And it's got 8.9 miles, so we're on a brand new engine. So it's we're in that break-in period that all the other bikes have been on. Goodness, man, that's so cool. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, motorcycles are great. I love them. Even when they're tiny, I love them so much. I got that, that fun feeling of just like throwing it over on city streets again. It's all back. I, re I remember it. Oh, I was, I'm so fond of it. Great. I am excited to get on the highway to see what that single cylinder does. On the highway, if you guys remember on the RC first ride, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But the RC390 is the other single cylinder. It's actually got more, it's got the most power, horsepower and torque of the class, but it didn't feel good on the highway. So I'm interested how the Honda is gonna be uh, on the highway since it's also a single cylinder. It's, but it's got less CC, so it's, it's got a challenge. The clutch and the brake lever are very, they're like angled down on the Honda, but I kind of like it. I kind of like them where they are. They, it fits. It fits with where I am on the bike, you know, my body position and everything. 
I will say the power delivery on the Honda is a little punchy up front. I'm assuming that's because of the uh, single cylinder engine. And uh, if you guys are brand new riders to this, you are gonna need to be careful with that. Because if you got all the power up front, you know, you can, it can get away from you quickly. Uh, so if you haven't ridden before and you're looking for a bike for your, you know, first bike or something like that, be a little careful. What I would personally recommend for somebody would be a more linear throttle uh, on a bike for their first bike. So just, you know, stuff to, stuff to be careful of. I will say the clutch feels really good in the stop and go traffic. It feels really smooth uh, playing with the clutch and where the friction zone is and whatnot. Clutching, super important, so new riders should be able to easily clutch it, and I don't think they're going to have a problem with this. So looking at the TAC, uh, the TAC's all right. I'm not really here for it. I mean, if you like that uh, analog stuff, you're solid here. Far better than the KTMs. <laughs> KTM got the worst TAC of all of them. This one's fine. I do wish we had a gear indicator. Uh, I really love having a gear indicator, especially on a smaller bike. Now, I will say, if you guys are new to riding, once you've ridden for a while on a bike, you can instantly look down and see how many revs you're at and how fast you're going, and you'll know exactly what gear you're in. But for new riders, that might take some time. But you know, eventually they could get there. I do. I just prefer gear indicators, though. And some of the other bikes are having gear indicators, so it's like if they got them, you should probably have them. So Honda's uh, a little low on that as far as the tack and stuff like that goes. But it's not a necessity. It's not a make or break for uh, for the bike. You guys can see we got these elevated handlebars here. That's going to give you that kind of an upright riding position, make it kind of comfortable to ride. And that's a green light. So we get to do the highway test of the 2019 CBR 300R. Will it be crappy like the RC390? Will it be abysmal like the GSX 250R? We all really hope not. Let's find a car that we can actually chase this time. All right, let's do that dark gray Jeep right there. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Jeep, we're coming for you. We are coming in hot. Look at that 300cc engine caught with no problem. This is a win for the Honda. <laughs> While we're going quick and tucked in, let's uh, judge the uh, aerodynamics of the tuck-in. I gotta say, this feels solid. I can feel the wind flying over me. Not quite as good as the R3 was, but really solid. Probably number two within the, in the aerodynamics department. Speed-wise, it looks like we're capping out right above 90. All right, we'll slow on down, getting a kind of commuter cruise position. Commuters wise, like I'm in sixth gear, I'm ringing it out and I'm going 80. That's all right. I kind of wish the bike would go a bit faster, but with a single cylinder at 300 cc's, you're just not going to get there. You don't got the engine behind you to really do that. But I will say, this is far more capable on the highway than that 250 from Suzuki. See, I feel like I can keep up a little ahead of traffic with this bike. Whereas that's just non-existent uh, if you don't have this amount of power. But you guys can see, we can go past traffic with no problem. Because that's all I look for. I'm not, you know, if you're commuting, you're not trying to haul balls to work every morning. You just need something to get you in traffic and get you to work safely. And this can definitely do that. I am noticing I'm wiggling around in the highway a lot. Like if a gust of wind comes in, I'm getting blown over a little bit. And I'm getting a lot of wind on me when I'm sitting upright, so I'm not going to really recommend something like this if you commute a lot. Uh, even the R3 was far better for commuting than this was. Alright, we need to get through all these vans and shit. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck behind you going into my big turn. Alright. So that's it for the Hondas on the highway. Not great, not the worst. Let's see what this little boy feels like leaning over. You know, for a comfortable motorcycle, that's not bad. I feel pretty comfortable leaned over. 
I'm actually enjoying leaning the bike over. It's not like that terrible feeling I got yesterday on that Suzuki. Let's get on over and enjoy the power of the 300. Man, the more I ride 300s, the more I realize they are the base for uh, US highways and just roads in general. <clears throat> At least for the US market, you just can't really go much under 300 before you start getting into a territory of the bike is just not safe to ride around. It's not safe to get around traffic and stuff like that, but once you get at 300, I feel totally adequate with the amount of power that I have right now. I am noticing the power does taper off a little bit, so you are gonna get the majority of your punch a little lower in the rev range as compared to the other bikes in the class. You know, parallel twins versus single cylinders. I, I think that's pretty expected. I, I don't think it's a big shock to anybody. And I really wish these cars would kind of do something with their lives. So being on the bike for a minute, uh, this thing is super comfortable to ride around. I think as a in-city bike, this is going to be a super solid option for you guys. My arms are in a comfortable riding position. I've got that power down low, which is going to give me this feeling of being a more powerful bike than it really is. Like, look at that. You focus all the power down low and you give it some throttle. You start going quickly. You get excited. You know, it gives you that excitement feeling. Really happy to see that on the Honda. Oh, thank you so much. How kind of you. Yeah, this bike definitely gets me excited when I lean it over. I, I can I can see myself having a good time with it, which is really what we all do this for, right? If you can't lean the bike over and have a good time, then it <laughs> might not be the right bike for you. You know, I think uh, you guys that are starting out might actually really like the engine braking on this bike because it's strong enough to be there, but it's not really intrusive. I could see... Uh, I can see the R3's engine braking being intrusive for a lot of you guys because it is pretty strong. But this one's manageable. You know, it's not, damn, four cops deep. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I think you guys will enjoy this engine braking a, a bit more than the, than the Yamaha. I'm going to make sure I'm on these little lines so that I can attempt to get this green light. I really wish that neutral light, can you guys even see it? I wish that thing was brighter. I, uh... In certain degrees with the sun behind us and stuff, it's kind of hard to see. God, you can even look at look at the way the engine revs up. It goes to four grand before anything. That's I like the way this engine's laid out, man. I like it for city streets. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it for the highway for obvious reasons like you guys just saw. But for city streets, man, it's everything. Ah, two more cops! Yeah, this this bike is laid out. For just city riding <laughs> like I would want to have this bike as the bike I only ride around town I never take it on the highway I never do anything with it other than ride around town if that's all you do this legit might be the best bike in the class no lie Oh, we do not have the ABS model because I just skid the rear wheel out. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We got to, right? With this much engine braking, we got to. Oh, we've got the power, boys. We might have to go a little slower. Let's stay focused. Stay focused, Marines. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, a little a little wheel bounce on the CBR 300. Hell yeah, fam. <laughs> that's crazy that a single cylinder that's a smaller CC than the RC390 can actually feel like it's faster because of just the engine characteristics, even though it's the same style engine. That's nuts. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, guys, I did want to hit on something that I mentioned a minute ago. While we don't have the ABS option here, uh, the Honda CBR300 does come in an option for ABS. 
And as I have told you guys on every one of the first rides of these low CC sport bikes, I would very highly recommend you guys getting the ABS option if you are in the market. ABS is literally anti-lock braking system and if you slam on the brakes, it's going to allow your bike not to stop the, the wheel from moving. Because what happens, you start skidding the wheel and then you can low side. You don't want to do any of that. So if you guys are looking into your first bike, especially if it's your first bike, please do yourself a favor save up get the abs model you will not regret it i 1000 percent promise there's a 100 percent chance of you being very happy you made that upgrade at some point in your riding man i am really surprised by this bike i did not expect to like the way this engine uh puts down the power as much as i do having these high handlebars makes me feel like i got plenty of control around the bike and it's not, it's light, it's super easy to throw into turns. As per usual, man, Honda makes a solid freaking machine. Very rarely does Honda like lead in anything, but it cannot be understated how important it is that they make consistently good machines. I'm honestly like being fully transparent. Honda mostly makes just good bikes that are like vanilla. Everybody loves it, but they lack some like personality sometimes so that being said i'm actually kind of surprised at the engine characteristic of this because i would expect honda of all the companies to have this super linear power delivery and i'm that's not the case at all not even a little bit we'll pull in up here and take a little walk around the bike take a little look at it all right guys we're back sorry about that i uh checked my gopro and even though i started this video with a full battery somehow the gopro battery it if you put it in the cold and try to ride around it dies instantly so at the end of the day that's why we do the follow car footage and that's why i record external audio so i've got it hooked into the battery bank it should last the rest of the time so my apologies for that I'll, uh, I'll get that figured out before the next set of first rides. Uh, but anyway, walk around. CBR 300R. <laughs> Got the Mountain Motorsports. That is not uh, stock. That's aftermarket. Uh, Looks-wise, you know, it's, uh, again, kind of like with the Jixxer. I'm not a big fan of the looks. I do think it kind of fits in with the CBR family. Uh, I do like the uh, little red pinstriping. It's not pinstriping. It's like a little graphic you guys can see. Uh, I like that, you know, whether you like it or not, it's personal preference. I just, I don't know, the bike looks fat over here and then like tiny up front, like in the wheel area. So not a huge fan of the looks department. I do, on the other hand, like this. So if I need to move this bike around, I grab this, I grab this. It's super light. I can easily just throw it back and forth. Super awesome there. I do like how this all looks like one thing. You know what I mean? I don't. Th I think this is a little too high. I wish it was kind of soft. You guys can't really tell. There's like, yeah, there you go. It's like a little bump right there. It makes it feel a little weird sitting on it. It's got a pretty big license plate. It is what it is. It's got a giant exhaust, which is not great. We got this little silver stuff right here. Again, not a fan of that. Um, I can dig the bronzy engine, but I need everything else black. You know, I need. The, I want the engine to be like a highlight. You guys can see up here and back here, we don't have ABS on this model, even though it does have that option. You guys can let me know what you think about the looks uh, down in the comments down below. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but if you are a huge fan of the looks of this bike, I'll have tons of photos over on the website, chaseontwheels.com. You guys can go check it out. They look like that. And you can also check out some of the photos we posted of the bike over on Instagram at C, the number two, W, picks. Uh, and now that we got the GoPro solved, we've done the walk around. Let's uh, let's finish this one up, boys. Yes, fam. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. See, with the GSX 250R, I was right here, and there were cars coming, and I was worried to pull out because I didn't think I had the engine to accelerate past the cars. I have nothing of the sort with this bike. Such a better motorcycle. All right, so guys, let's wrap up the uh, first ride of the CBR300R. 
honestly, this bike was the big shocker of the entire class. I came into this first ride not expecting to have such a punchy engine so far down in the revs. That being said, I absolutely love it. But that's coming from somebody that knows how to ride. If you don't know how to ride, it might seem a little aggressive down low in the RPM, so that is something to be careful of. Uh, the body position wise, I feel like is super comfortable. I feel like I have really good control over the motorcycle and I love this bike for in-city riding. Now, if you're looking for a low CC sport bike and you are gonna have to get on the highway, a little bit is not gonna be a big deal. It's got the engine to do what it's gotta do, but if you have to do a long commute, I'm thinking 30 minutes or something like that a day. Like if you're if you're wanting to get this for going driving to work and stuff like that, and you got to do a 30 minute commute one way, I think I would start pushing you onto the other bikes. I I don't know if I would want to ride this bike an hour every day on the highway. I I, I just wouldn't want to do that. And I would kind of want a bike with a little more engine if I was going to spend that much time on the highway, but Honestly, if you if you live in a big city, you don't plan on taking trips to the mountains and you literally only ride around town, this might be one of the best bikes in the class just because of the way the engine is laid out, the throttle is solid, gives you that punch up front. You can have an amazing time with this in the city and riding around town. It's just when you get outside of town that it starts kind of kind of falling apart looks wise doesn't really do it for me but that is a subjective category so you guys could totally agree or disagree with me and both would be correct so as far as comfortability wise like the seat it's not the most comfortable bike in the class but it's certainly not bad the controls on this bike are super easy to find even a brand new guy to riding is not going to have a problem finding the controls which is always nice when you start riding, you've got so much stuff you're trying to figure out. The last thing you want to have to do is figure out where the controls are that you're looking for. And uh, that's honestly it, guys. I'm really, like, insanely impressed with Honda with this CBR300. I, I did not expect this out of them, but I'm really happy to see it from them. And uh, guys, before I get out of here, I want to give a shout out to Mountain Motorsports. You guys know who they are at this point. They have the dealership here in North Georgia that allows me to jump on all these bikes and do test rides and first rides for you guys to let you guys know what it's like riding the bikes for the first time. If you guys are in the North Georgia area, make sure to check out that first ride special pricing if you're in the market for a, your next motorcycle with them because I can save you guys a ton of cash on your next bike and I would love to be able to do that. Make you guys have some extra cash that you can put on gear or maybe some accessories for the bike you end up picking up. But guys, with all that said, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. This has been a Chase on Two Wheels first ride. If you guys hit the like button on the video, that would be super helpful for me. I would massively appreciate it. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We do all types of motorcycle-related content here on the channel. Outro crew, before I get some uh, gas up here, let me know what your outro crew score is for the last bike in the low CC sport bike class, the Honda CBR 300R. I'm interested to see what you guys think about this bike because I am shocked at where it ended up and where it's going to end up being on my list. And uh, that's all I got, guys. I hit the horn again. Jesus. I'm going to pull into this gas station and get some gas. I will see you guys on the next one. Outro crew, you know I love you. Thanks for getting to the end. I'm glad I made it to a gas station. <laughs> and you guys go out there and ride safe. Later.